Welcome to Cyber World YT. Like and subscribe if you are new here for amazing hacking methods and tools. Also, follow me on Instagram for in case of any queries. In this digital age, it's important to know how hackers work in order to keep our personal and private data safe. Our goal is to create a place where people can learn about ethical hacking, to keep our digital world safe and beat the hackers. We're not here to teach you hacking for illegal activities, but to arm you with the knowledge to defend against them. Now let's dive into today's topic. Top 10 must-know methods used by hackers to hack WhatsApp. 1. Phishing attacks. Hackers often create fake login pages to steal your credentials. These hackers pretend to be legitimate businesses to trick users into falling into a trap. What was the trap? A fake website that is very close to looking like the real thing. Once you input your login details, they're in the hands of the hackers. How are you going to beat them? By checking the URL twice, looking for HTTPS, and not clicking on links that look sketchy. Always ensure you're on the official WhatsApp site or app before entering your information. 2. QR Code Hacking Hackers can trick you into scanning a QR code that gives them access to your account. This method is becoming increasingly popular among cyber criminals. It's simple, yet effective. The hacker creates a malicious QR code. When an unsuspecting user scans it, the hacker gains control of their WhatsApp account. It's a scary thought, isn't it? This is the main reason why you should be careful and skeptical. Remember, your personal data is valuable. Never scan a QR code from an untrusted source. 3. Spyware. Malicious software can be installed on your device to steal your data. These sneaky programs can keep an eye on what you do, get personal information from you, and even take control of your device without you knowing. It's hard to spot them, because they often look like real apps or come with other software. To stay safe, only download apps from sources you know you can trust. Stay away from links that look sketchy, and be careful about what rights you give apps. Keep your device secure with regular updates and a good antivirus program. Keylogging Keyloggers record everything you type, including your passwords. These cunning tools work covertly, operating in the background of your device to capture every keystroke. They can record your messages, search queries, and even your passwords. To protect yourself, ensure you're downloading software from trusted sources only. Regularly update your system and security software to catch these sneaky invaders. And remember, a strong, unique password can also be your first line of defense against keyloggers. Be wary of any software that you install on your device. 5. SS Spoofing Hackers can send fake messages pretending to be from WhatsApp to trick you into revealing your verification code. With this method, fraudsters create a mirage, making you believe that you're interacting with a trusted entity. They try to get you to give them private information like your WhatsApp verification code in this case. To guard against this, remember one golden rule. WhatsApp, or any reputable company for that matter, will never ask you for your code. 6. Wi-Fi Sniffing Public Wi-Fi networks are often unsecured and can be used by hackers to intercept your data. These digital snoops might be able to read all of your texts, emails, and even your bank information. This method is especially common in crowded places like cafes, airports, or libraries. To protect your data, consider using a virtual private network, or VPN, which encrypts your data and makes it much harder to intercept. Remember, the convenience of public Wi-Fi isn't worth the risk. Avoid using public Wi-Fi for sensitive activities. 7. Social Engineering Hackers can manipulate you into revealing your personal information. Psychological tricks are used in this sneaky way to get people to make security mistakes or give away private information. It's not about cracking codes or exploiting software vulnerabilities, but about deceiving people. To protect against this, always verify the source before providing any personal information. Do not trust emails, calls or messages that you did not expect, even if they seem to come from a known person or group. Be cautious of any unsolicited communications asking for your details. 8. SIM Swapping Hackers can take control of your phone number by convincing your carrier to switch your number to a new SIM card. This crafty method, known as SIM Swapping, allows hackers to bypass two-step verification, receive your personal messages, and even lock you out of your own device. To safeguard against this, it's crucial to maintain a sense of vigilance. 
Regularly check your mobile network and take precautions such as setting up a PIN with your carrier. Protect yourself by setting up a PIN with your carrier. 9. Third-party apps. Some apps promise to add extra features to WhatsApp, but are actually designed to steal your data. These wolves in sheep's clothing can access your private chats, photos, and even your contacts. The danger lies not just in what they take, but also in what they can do with this information. They can impersonate you, send spam, or worse, commit identity theft. So, how do we protect ourselves? It might sound like a broken record, but it's worth repeating. Only download apps from trusted sources. 10. Backup Interception Hackers can access your chat backups to read your messages. Now you might be wondering, how is that even possible? If your backups are in the cloud and someone gets into your cloud account, they can easily get to your WhatsApp chats and read them. That's pretty scary, right? But don't panic just yet. There's a way to protect your data. Enable two-step verification on your cloud accounts. This adds an extra layer of security, keeping your backups secure. That's all for this video today. The top 10 ways hackers get into WhatsApp have been found after a trip through the dangerous world of computers. The strongest defense we have is knowledge and alertness, and this serves as a reminder of that. Do us a favor and subscribe for more cybersecurity insights if you found this illuminating. If you liked it, please share it. Until next time, remember, knowledge is power. Stay curious, stay secure. See you in the next video.